In this video, I'm going to go over the custom URI rule type in MemberPress. When creating rules to protect your content, MemberPress offers a variety of different rule types to restrict access to the many types of content you may have. When going into MemberPress, Rules, and creating a new rule, in the dropdown under Protected Content, the last option you'll see is Custom URI. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier, which is just a term to describe a string of characters used to identify something on the web, like a website URL. You'll generally use custom URI rules in MemberPress for two reasons. First, to protect WordPress content, like pages, posts, and other permalinks. Permalinks are permanent link URLs used on your site, in case you didn't know. Second, custom URI rules can protect one or multiple files on your site, such as PDFs, MP3s, zip files, and more. So for this video, I'm going to show you a bit about how you can protect content like pages and posts on your site with custom URI rules, and why you might need to. Then I'll show you how custom URIs can be used to protect files. So first, let's check out how to use this rule to protect pages to show you an example of how this works. When you select custom URI here when creating a new rule, you'll see this text box here. This is where you'll enter the URL of what you want to protect. So, just as a quick example, if I wanted to protect this URL of my site, all I would need to do is enter this part, after the .com, .org, etc. I wouldn't need to worry about the first part of my site URL. To get these URLs, you go to Pages, or Posts, or whatever you're going to protect, click on the individual page, and copy this URL here. Now, you might be wondering why you would ever want to protect pages or posts this way when other MemberPress rules, like a single page, child pages of, and more, make it so easy. Well, there are a few reasons why you may need to use custom URI rules instead. You may need to protect content from BuddyPress or other content made with plugins that aren't able to be protected with other MemberPress rules. For example, in BuddyPress, you may need to protect your entire members directory, which has this URL path. So you just create a new custom URI rule and enter it here and set up your rule. You may also want to protect the activity feed in BuddyPress as well. In this case, you'd enter this in your custom URI rule. If you go into the BuddyPress settings and pages, you can click view next to these two pages and see their URLs. You can also see this if you go into pages and click the individual pages. Another reason you might need to use a custom URI rule to protect pages through the URL is if you're using a WordPress theme that outputs content in a non-typical way. Sometimes, certain content can't be protected by MemberPress's other rules. So, if you're trying to protect something created by your theme, but can't get it protected using other MemberPress rule types, try to protect it with a custom URI rule before further troubleshooting. Finally, you can use custom URI rules to quickly lock down a lot of different URIs with a single regex statement. You could use a regex statement like this to do it. I'll get into what regex means later in the video when I use it to protect files, so don't worry if you don't understand it yet. And that gets us into the second reason why you may want to use custom URI rules, and that's to protect files. To demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new custom URI rule to protect two PDF files I have stored on my site. Now, before I go any further, a few important caveats. When dealing with files on your site, you can use the WordPress Media Library to upload and store your files. However, this has a lot of limitations, such as not really having a good way to sort or organize your files. When you upload files using the Media Library, it'll simply display them in order of when you upload them, and it doesn't really offer a lot of customization for organizing. So we fixed that problem with our MemberPress Downloads add-on. See our support docs page, link in the description, to see how to set it up and learn about its features. With the MemberPress Downloads add-on, you can apply categories and tags to files to not only organize them, but to also apply rules to them that way. Once you have MemberPress Downloads installed, it'll add Files with File category and Files with File tag to your rule types. You can upload a bunch of PDF files and apply a PDF category to them, and use the File Category rule type to restrict all of your PDFs, just as an example. Some people also like to use plugins like WordPress Media Library folders to allow you to organize your files into folders, and to override the default folders the WordPress Media Library creates based on the date you upload your files. So instead of the URL of your file looking like this with the Media Library, using a folders plugin can make your file URL look like this, just as an example. 
That being said, while the MemberPress Downloads add-on can make protecting your files easy, and it's what we generally recommend these days for protecting files, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to protect files using a custom URI rule instead of using the Downloads add-on through file categories and tags. One reason you might decide to not use MemberPress Downloads to manage and protect your files is if you need to upload large amounts of files and maybe even need to change or update various files from time to time. For this, it'll be much easier to protect files using custom URI rules. You may want to use FTP to upload your files. See our support docs page for more information on uploading and protecting files on your site. And one more thing about protecting files with custom URI rules. This will only work if your site is served by Apache or an Apache compatible web server like Lightspeed. If you're not sure what web server you're using, then it's probably Apache, but to be sure, contact your web host. Also, protecting files works best if caching is excluded on the file types being protected. See the technical requirements section on our protecting file support docs page for more info on what's required. So if I go into media on the left sidebar and library, you'll see two sample PDF files I'm gonna be using for my examples. For my first example, I'm just gonna protect sample PDF one. I'll click on the file here and click to copy the URL. Once I've copied the URL for the file, I'll go to MemberPress, Rules, and Add New. I'll select Custom URI and paste a URL here. I'll then cut off the first part of the URL since I don't need it for this to work. Leave the checkbox next to Regular Expression unchecked. I'll get into what this is later. Then under Access Conditions, I'll select my gold membership. I'll then click Save Rule. And that's it. My sample PDF file is now restricted to anyone except those with my gold membership. Pretty easy. But if you wanted to protect 20, 50, or even hundreds of files, doing it this way can get way too time consuming. So I'll show you some ways you can protect multiple files using custom URI rules. Again, using tags and categories in MemberPress downloads is the newest and probably easiest way to achieve this. But protecting multiple files using custom URI rules is still a tried and true way to protect multiple files. A common way to protect many files is to store them in a folder and protect all files of a specific file type within that folder. So using the WordPress Media Library Folders plugin I showed you earlier, I've put my two sample PDF files in a folder called Protected. If I click on one of my PDF files, you can see its URL and how the URL is different than the file stored with just the WordPress Media Library. I'll copy this URL for creating my custom URI rule. For this example, I'm going to be using what's called a regular expression. In short, a regular expression is a sort of text string for a search. You may be familiar with the star.pdf or whatever file type search you can perform in a file manager to search for all files of a certain type. Well, regular expressions are sort of like that. If you go to the MemberPress support docs page for protecting files, link in the description, and scroll down to regular expressions, you'll see the formatting you'll use here. Be sure to check out this page as a complete reference to protecting files in MemberPress, as the examples in this video only scratch the surface. So to show you how this works, I'll go to Rules and Add New. I'll then select Custom URI. I'll check this checkbox to indicate that I'm using a regular expression. To construct my expression, I'm going to open a text editor to give you a better view of everything. I'll paste the sample PDF file URL I copied earlier. I'll then copy this first regular expression sample here on the support docs page and paste it here in my text editor. I'll shorten my file URL to only include this part of the path and, of course, get rid of the individual file to only point to the folder where the PDFs are stored. I'll add the caret at the beginning and this part at the end, indicating the file type of PDF, meaning to protect all PDF files in this folder. I'll copy this regular expression and paste it here in my rule. I'll then set it to my gold membership and click Save Rule. If I wanted to use this type of rule to protect multiple files of different file types in the same folder, I could use this type of format, found on the Support Docs page, where you can just list off your file type separated out by these vertical bars. Before I show you what this looks like on the front end, one last thing. When you're creating rules in MemberPress with any other rule type, you have this unauthorized access section where you can customize the unauthorized message people will see when they try to access your restricted content. But when you create a custom URI rule, you don't have the unauthorized access section. With custom URI rules, you can't use the custom unauthorized message. What this means is that when you're using a custom URI rule to restrict content, 
Unauthorized users will be taken to your login page with a message that says what URL they're not allowed to see. It gives them an option to log in and see the default unauthorized message set up in your MemberPress settings. With other rule types, users are prompted with an unauthorized message right on the page with the page URL. But with custom URI rules, they're redirected to the login page. So if you go to MemberPress, then Settings, and the Pages tab, you can modify your unauthorized message here or set it to redirect to another URL. Here next to Login Page, you can choose to edit what's on the page by clicking Edit or choose to direct unauthorized users to a completely different page altogether. Whatever you have set here in your MemberPress settings is what will be displayed to an unauthorized user by a custom URI rule. Now I'll show you what this looks like on the front end. I'll go into one of my files I have protected with a custom URI rule and copy its URL. I'll then go into a new incognito window in Google Chrome, or you can use another browser where you're not logged in as your site's admin, and paste it in. Here, you can see that the user is directed to the site's login page with the unauthorized message and login form blocking access to the file. I'll then log in as a test user that has a gold membership, and you can see the user has access to the sample PDF file. You've now seen a basic rundown of what custom URI rules can do for protecting URLs and files on your site. Again, we highly recommend checking out the Protecting Files page on our knowledge base for a full rundown of custom URI rules, link in the description. And if you run into any trouble setting up your custom URI rules, our support team is always here to help. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.